Dear students, as we have stored data in the database and we discussed in the start that all of the data which is stored in database is stored as an integrated uh, repository and that data can be queried at any time and very complex kind of queries can be performed on such data and such queries can be performed in different ways in Microsoft Access. So we will be focusing only very basic ways that how we can uh, use query wizard and how we can use query wizard as summary and as simple. So let's start the practical. So we have the same file where we have different tables, forms and reports. So let's say we want to uh, form some queries on TBL220. So we have selected this one, create using query wizard, simple query wizard, okay. And we need to select, for example, if we want to select all of the things, we will click over here. And if we want just some of the things in the query, we will click like this. Then next, the name of the query, open the query to view information. And you can see that this is the result of the query that we have included that we need a name of the students, their subject marks, English, Park Studies and Calculus, that's it. So this was what we asked uh, and that data has been queried from uh, the table TBL220 and just the fields which we asked in this query English Park Study and Calculus. So those fields have been selected from this table and are formed as a query. So there is another way uh, to query, like if we go again over here, create and query design. So this is a very powerful uh, thing available over here. So we are saying that we want to add this table. So I have double clicked on it that is added and then I have the design uh, tool available over here so I am saying that I need to include field 2, field 3 or maybe uh, first for example that's fine then field 4 etc. Then I want to perform the sorting as well like and that's it. So these are the three fields which I need from this table. So let's see what happens. When I have uh, finished making my query, whatever the criteria I wanted to give, I have given. So I can run this query and see the results. So you can see that I have given those results. So if I want to again view this query and want to say, Okay, I need this information as well, like the name of the students and then uh, the marks of physics and English. So that information is being uh, given to me. Then I can also uh, use number of other things. So for example, if I say that um, this is the information I need, uh, table is the same thing, uh, the same table. So then I need it in descending form and then for example I say over here a criteria that any students who have marks greater than 50 should be shown. So let's try to run. So in in the so I'm going back. So it is giving only those students who have more than 50 marks in one of the field in which we have asked it right so we can again go back to the design query and can uh, perform some other experiment as well for example if we are interested in courses so I am saying that I need a course name and credit hours but the credit hours should be in descending order. So this means uh, 4-1 the courses with 
uh, credit R4 should be displayed on the top and then followed by the courses having credit R3. Uh, so I clicked on it. So it says, okay, uh, the ITC has four credit R's, programming fee and so on. And it has hidden uh, course ID from us. So such kind of things you can perform over here. So we have learned two ways of queries. One is the uh, direct way of designing using wizard and then query design. So dear students, let's conclude today's topic. Uh, we have seen that how we can query uh, the database and the tables and how we can uh, try to search our required data from the tables and that data can be shown to us as a result of that query and we have seen that uh, query wizard uh, using simple how it can work and how query wizard as summary works in query generation and result calculation.